an area in New York City, Chinatown, and right now I'm here in the middle of Canal Street, and you won't see any people, you know, like very few people are coming here to shop. You won't be able to walk here like during the uh, ordinary day before COVID-19, and now it's, it's very clear you know like that there are only few people coming here it's not crowded this area of the canal street is actually not crowded as you can see today compared to uh, the ordinary day before COVID-19 because this area is uh, the line the street where a lot of uh, street vendors are selling fruits and vegetables and it's inexpensive they have a lot of fruits here they have dragon fruits uh, long gun lychee a lot of asian fruits I actually bought guavas, lychees, and uh, mango. There are avocados, grapes, you know, different types, and it's really less expensive. That one is uh, the yellow dragon fruit. It's sweet. I tasted that already, and it's very good. There's some pineapples. It's dining grapes. And tomatoes and uh, so many vegetables also on the other side of the street. This at this star apple is very expensive. It's nine per pound, but when I touch it, it's hard and I can see this is not a good one. You know, star apple, you can tell from the skin if this is good, you know. So I didn't buy too much, too much, it's too expensive. Though it's not really crowded, you can tell that the traffic is really bad because I think they closed some of the streets for some reason. And still, there's a lot of closed stores around the area. Too bad. This area has a lot of uh, made in China stuff. And this is the subway train. But I didn't take this, I took uh, F train and there's a lot of knocked off uh, bags and uh, wallets I would like to say that all those uh, things in the stores are not really a good quality and I don't think people should buy it because we're just creating you know like plastic throwing in the ocean and it's no good for our environment very bad quality there are so many uh, made in China too, of course, left and right, and jewelry stores, but I think those jewelry stores are, I think, uh, really good. They, I think they're selling authentic uh, jewelry. During COVID-19, these stores are all closed, so uh, at least uh, these uh, small business owners there will be able to uh, earn again. And because it's no good, uh, it's go our economic, uh, the youth economy will go down if they will be, won't be able to open sooner. That's why the government are very worried about it. But of course, the priority should be the safety of the people first this area is always uh, full of vendors and uh, you can buy less expensive uh, fruits and vegetables so it's always crowded this area but now 
it's not that bad as you can see there there are balingbing and a lot of asian kind of fruits there's a lot of uh, bubble tea left and right too there's a lot of field arms going to this uh, street we love this street because uh, this is also going to the uh, uh, the fish store that's selling fresh fish and vegetables they are cute look at that they are darn cute this is one of my favorite place store in this area really uh, they have good stuff but it's so expensive inside and this is my favorite uh, fish store that you know, for so many years I'm going back here to buy vegetables and on the actually on the right side is uh, the fish store this one is the vegetable store and the canned goods store where you can buy bagoong and you know some Filipino uh, stuff but not a lot but still you know you can pick up something So uh, this guy uh, still remember me and he said in like uh, in a broken English, he said, oh, you're not coming here anymore. <laughs> they are so nice here, those, uh, those uh, worker. So they're selling very fresh fish. That pampano really is good. So uh, I wish I, I, I brought my uh, huge uh, bag, I mean my my trolley so that i can buy a lot of stuff they have nice uh, plants here but i close my eyes for a bit because i can't uh hold it with uh, my camera shooting all around so probably later i'll buy something i like those lanterns i remember we have one like that in uh, the philippines when i was a teenager in front of our house in uh, in uh, my grandmother's uh, resort and those uh, uh chinese clothes are really pretty very pretty beautiful it's, i love that uh bamboo tree i have that one in my backyard in amaya uh, mira gave that to me and uh uh it's it's growing, it's growing, and I'm so happy. On that corner is uh, the Hopki restaurant where a lot of Filipinos are going there, you know, during weekends, especially, you know, they uh, they go there for with, in a group. And uh, I remember going there many times with uh, my groups in uh, Uptown Manhattan. Look, their uh, the Chinese tra tra traditional dress are really beautiful, and this is the church. I don't know what kind of uh, church is that. If that's Roman Catholic or what. If you are enjoying my uh, video, please uh, don't forget to subscribe, please comment and like. Thank you. I got so thirsty because it's too hot and uh, I said okay I'll pick up some bubble tea and now I'm in a uh, Mei Laowei uh, store this is the most famous uh, pork buns in the world actually I think this one was featured in uh, Anthony Bourdain's uh, show and uh, it's really delicious and i thought stephen will not like it but he ate like two pieces in one shot he loves it this is the manhattan bridge arc and colonnade uh, designed by leon solomon musef the construction is started at 1901.
you can see the World Trade Center over there at the back. By the way, please follow local underscore Manila on Instagram. Please support local business owners, farmers, creators, and artists. Thank you.